Well, hi there, beach friends, and boy, do I have a treat for you today. So normally, we're on some sort of beautiful beach looking for seashells, and today will be no different, except today we're going to have things like, I don't know, alphabet cones kind of wash up at our feet. And we'll also get to see this spectacular apple murex. And we're going to find this real lovely horse conch as well. And that's only just some of the beautiful shells that we're going to find as we're out on Kiwaden Island. I've been up for a couple of hours at this point, and it is just beautiful seeing that the moon is kind of still in the sky with the sun coming up. And this time of the trip is just so awesome because the anticipation you're on this lovely boat ride and you get to the island so it's gonna be really fun every shelling trip i have is awesome but this one's gonna be a little bit extra fun so if you're ready to see what's out there let's go to the beach This is my favorite. So we just got to the island. The tide will be coming in the entire time, pushing all of those treasures at us. And we just happened to pick a really great day. Not all days are the same. Not all islands are the same. But holy cow, this island today is going to be amazing. There are so many shells. So I'm super psyched. We're going to have ourselves a fun couple of hours. All right. What's going to be our first shell? Not going to be the fighting conch. It's going to be this little alphabet cone. And frankly, kind of appropriate that that would be our first shell. And you'll see why. You'll see. Next we have, oh, we have a couple things. So we have a pear whelk. A little bit of beach stuff. Yeah, we'll just check it out. Probably leave it here. But look at this. So this is a spiny jewel box that is hinged, making it a little bit more special that it still has both of its little halves connected awesome and a banded tulip now i've been thinking about these because i do tend to like them and i think because where i grew up in new jersey you'd find maybe a clam here or there not the gastropods so the shells that only have one shell are called gastropods so i really do like a good gastropod so those are two banded tulips pretty cool here's another gastropod a lightning whelk, nice size on that one. Beautiful looking shell. Yep, love seeing that sand packed in there with no critter, just sand. Ah, uh, trickster. So that is part of a moon snail. Oh dear. All right, so there's a banded tulip with a critter. So the critter is alive in there. So that needs to go there. Well, it's gonna stay at the beach. I just put it a little bit closer to the water. But this apple murex, beautiful. That will go in my shell bag. Oh my gosh, wow, so many shells. Well, hello, alphabet cones. So finding alphabet cones is pretty awesome. It's, it is one of those like really desired shells. So I'm on the hunt for cones, frankly. I found that first one, I found this one. And this, oh, look how cute. So really awesome. Three alphabet cones already. Woohoo! Oh, and they're little. They're so cute. And, okay, we have a horse conch. Oh, that's such a great size for the horse conch, but it's a little beat up. That's okay. I'll hold on to this one until I can find something that's a little bit nicer and I'll replace it. Oh, well, that will do just fine. So I did actually do what I just said. I left that other shell and I put that one in my bag instead. We'll take home that little horse conch. Oh, guys, just rolling around in the waves. Alphabet cone, what are we on, number four? <gasps> it's gonna be so fun today. Oh, another lightning whelk. Terrific. 
beautiful shell. So I'm super psyched. I mean, we have just got started. There's so many great shells here. Oh, a sand dollar. And sand dollars, just like a really, really flat urchin. And I gifted this someone. I did not take this one home with me. I gifted that to somebody else that was on like a little shell tour and they asked, are there any sand dollars here? So I figured, you know what? You should get a sand dollar. So I gifted that to somebody else. Would you look at this spectacular apple murex? I pick up a lot of apple murex, but this one, the size, the color, it's all frilly. Wow, that is an awesome apple murex. Oh, and it's so lovely. I know it's great. I'm doing, having a great time picking up the shells, but I do want to head to the end of the island, the point over there. I just want to head all the way. It's not that far. I don't know, a couple football fields, but I'm trying to head to the end of the island just to make sure there's nothing down there. And then I can, you know, with peace of mind, knowing there's nothing down there, I can go ahead and keep shelling. Hey, a little fool. Another Florida horse conch. Oh, it's got that gorgeous orange color. I like that size. Kind of like the small. Oh, it's so nice. I like them all. Who am I kidding? Oh, it's alive. It's alive. So it's a fighting conch. It's still working on its uh, its home. It still is living in there. So we will leave that safely here. There you go, friend. Another hinged spiny jewel box. Super duper cool. Actually, anything kind of hit. It just makes it a little bit more special. You get two shells for bending down just once. Oh my gosh, so many shells. But I like I said, I do want to make it to the point. So I'm going to be quiet for a minute, make my way to the point and let you enjoy some beach time. moon snail that actually has some nice color on it so that is also known as a gaudy nautica that's kind of like more like the slang name for it but it's a colorful moon snail so it did make it to the point and frankly the shells were getting smaller and smaller and less of them but it's where i found that big old horse cock so i really did at least want to walk down here and check it out and hey you never know what you're gonna stumble upon when you walk down the beach, right? So here is a massive egg casing. This is from a lightning whelk. And look, see all those little dots inside that disc? Those are little baby shells. Okay, that one's empty, but they're still hydrated. There's still water in there. And I do not know if the snails are viable or not. So I always err on the side of caution, always, and I'm going to leave this here. If it were up on the beach and all dried out, I might try to take it, but since I'm not sure if those little snails are viable, I leave that here at the beach. It's kind of cool. This was only neat. Here's another one. Okay, that's a big, it's, I mean, these are huge. So I know that that is another lightning whelk, again, with the little bebes. So I did put that back in the water. And then this one I wanted to show you because this is from a pear whelk. It's from a different whelk. The, um, the size of those discs are just a little bit smaller. I call like the lightning whelks more like the like quarters and this is a little bit more like a dime or a nickel. And I'm looking to see if there's, oh yep, there's little bebes in there. So that is also going to go back into the water. Again, just in case, I don't know. That eh, couldn't hurt, right? pelicans are having themselves a good time and that's about it frankly I, I made it all the way down here i did poke around in the water a little bit what did we get i got myself a little florida cone it's a decent find for walking down the beach right but i did notice i stopped finding the alphabet cones so let's see i am going to turn around but we do have a lovely calico scallop and a lettered olive some of the relatively, not necessarily common, but 
some of the shells you'll find down here in Southwest Florida, and the horse conch. There's our state shell. So, soup, always happy to see that Florida horse conch. Nah, not so happy to see the garbage. And I know it's kind of gross, I just pick it up with my hands, but it's been waterlogged, and I'm frankly just gross when I go on these islands anyway. After a while, so I just pick up the garbage and I stick it in another bag, and I'll be lugging that off of the island once we finally go. So, I kind of satisfied my curiosity. I made it to the point, and I know, did you notice how it just really kind of slowed down? So the shells are a little bit smaller and I'm stopping not as often. So I'm gonna head back to where all that great shelling was. And while we make our way over there, it looks like I spied a tinted cantharis. Fun little shell that has uh, convinced me it's neat. I do like those tinted cantharis, as well as a good moon snail too. Awesome. It's tough to find the moon snails without a little drill hole in it. So moon snails drill and they tend to eat each other. So there's a lot of holes in the, in the moon snails that are from other critters. Beautiful buttercup leucine. The yellower, the better. Love them, good. A good buttercup leucine. Oh, wow, I know exactly, yep. Going for that orange scallop. So that is a rough scallop. Wow, that's pretty, oh. Just on its own, wow. Oh, I found that bendy one not too long ago. Was that, yeah, last week on Sanibel, I found one just like that that was a little bit bendy. It's like actually bent, it was injured. Wow, look at all these shells and look at the color on this horse conch, holy cow. Now that does happen as these shells, specifically the horse conchs, as they get bigger, they do kind of fade out, they kind of lose their color. Frankly, the lightning whelks do that too, but to find those, this, kind of like pony size, that great color. Oh, super duper happy. Wow. Please be empty, please be empty, please be empty. Yes. Yeah, I was, mar look at that zigzag. Oh, that is awesome. And I've seen them and there'll be a critter in there. I'm like, oh man, I gotta leave it, but not this time. Got myself a fantastic zigzaggy Florida fighting conch. Lovely. Calico scallop. Yep. What's a weight on that? Kind of cool. Ooh, another spiny jewel box. It's got not quite formidable spikes on there, but a little bit of spikiness going on on that spiny jewel box. Ooh, more zigzaggies. Awesome. Another really terrific fighting conch. Oh, darn. So that's just a piece of a true tulip. That would have been nice if we found the whole shell attached. But I, seriously, I can't complain after all these other fantastic treasures. Look at that. So that's just a calico scallop, but a super duper orange version of it. So many shells, so happy to be here. Okay, what am I going for? A little lace murex. Terrific little juvenile that is on the smaller side, but a beautiful little example of a lace murex. Oh, wow. Fighting cock. I know it's relatively common, but the color on that was so cool. So that's another apple murex. Oh, rats. It's kind of missing a little bit of its aperture, but I'm going to make an exception. I'm going to keep that because it is beautiful in the color. Now, a couple of things I'd like to kind of point out. I did come on a tour here, so there were other people, but because we were so early, I do we were the first ones here. We've really had first crack at everything here, and we have spread out, and it's almost almost like you have the entire place to yourself. So not all tours are the same. Be sure to check out either SWFL Shell Guide or Nautical Life Shelling, and they can hook you up and go on a tour like this. Oh, beautiful. Empty? Yeah. Really dark chocolate. And I will confess, I literally had a second shell bag that I was putting the fighting conchs in. So now I'm working with two shell bags. I got my regular shell bag and I have my fighting conch shell bag. But don't worry, I'm not going to show you every single one I pick up. I promise. Look, I even managed to leave one there. So I did go a little banana with the fighting conchs on this day. Awesome. So it's just the top of a jingle. Real pretty color on that lovely orange jingle shell. 
I, guys, so many. This is awesome. And look at this. You're just kind of <laughs> scanning the pile. And oh, hi, Alphabet Cones. So I guess we have reached back. Um, we've gotten a return to the Alphabet Cones section of the beach. I think we should hang out here for a little while, if you ask me. Now that will clean up just fine. A little bit of bleach will take care of that, no problem. Beautiful Alphabet Cone. Oh, and here we have a mossy arc. Kind of cool. I like that they're all like freestyle on one end and you flip them over and they have that really straight edge because it is an arc. So we'll have that real straight edge. Kind of cool, right? So that's a little weirdo shell that I like. The mossy arc. What do we got here? Oh, well, hi there, alphabet cone. Now, I'd also like to point out that I'm not the only one on the island. There are plenty of other people looking for shells here. So this was just a crazy great day for alphabet cones. And I suspect I'll probably do pretty good in the lightning whelk department as well. Oh, it's so pretty. Another lightning whelk. Oh, and a turkey wing. Wow, so pretty. So this is also known as a zigzag arc uh, for obvious reasons from those brown zigzags it has on it. So that is a turkey wing. Now this was fun. What actually happened is I bent down to pick up the fighting conch, but I actually spied a keyhole limpet. So that fighting conch actually helped me. And like I said, just check out as much stuff as you can. You never know what you're gonna stumble upon. I can only imagine how many shells I leave behind. I must leave tons behind. So in this shot, like, okay, I see so many things. All right, let's just start with one thing. Okay, I got a gaudy and a tulip over there. Let's pick up this gaudy first. So this is another one of those colorful moon snails. The coloring is really kind of strange. This is a banded tulip. I'll just go ahead and plop that in the shell bag, but I want to look at these two colorful moon snails together because one of them, the coloring is just so very different. It's kind of normal. So that one, we'll just call that normal. And then that one in the front, that's a little, it's just different, real different. And I just think that's kind of unusual and neat. So anything unusual, anything that you don't really see a lot of is going to be collectible. So that's kind of cool. Those two colorful moon snails. And a pear whelk. Is that that is that same whelk we picked up when we first got here and i'm still not keeping it <laughs> found it twice <gasps> all right so this sometimes i have to choose between getting the shot and getting the shell and i'm gonna pick the shell every time so i just grab that let's just give it a quick rinse and we can see how lovely wow look at all the letters on this one i see e's an f an r oh that's cool that's really neat. Another horse conch, which is also really cool and neat. All right, to be fair, it's not quite as pretty as some of those red ones we picked up, but still an awesome find. All right, let's roll in here. Oh, another apple murex. Lovely dark apple murex. Yep, terrific. A lettered olive. Very nice. This is kind of fun because you don't know what's going to kind of like pop out of the like chocolate milk water. Here we have a lettered olive. All right, what's it going to be next? Am I chasing something? Let's see. No, I don't think I am. I think I'm just showing you what it's like and it's so fun. Like, do I see something and then every wave just kind of gives you a new opportunity to find something else. All right, I yep, I saw a flash of an alphabet con. Yep, there it is. Oh, it's so fun. So another real nice alphabet cone. And that black on it, that's actually the periostricum of the shell. So when you find one that doesn't have any of that black, it's been rolling around a little bit. The stuff with the black on it, it's a little bit newer. And that sometimes shows will just roll into your palm. There's another lovely fighting conch. Terrific. Another spiny jewel box. It's got some nice, it's only got two little spikes on there, but still, oh, love me a good spiny jewel box. Awesome. Another gaudy. Terrific. Looks like it had a repair, so something along the way there. 
kind of busted that little shell and it repaired just went along doing its business and then we have a juvenile fighting cock that's another zigzaggy shell oh another banded tulip lovely i do like those gastropods excellent example all right now oh was i hunting some <laughs> Apparently I was. It's like I saw, oh, and get, there was a moon snail. I just dropped it. I didn't even see it. Didn't even see it. So all I saw was the alphabet cone. I didn't see anything else. I was laser focused. Sometimes it's good and sometimes, you know, <laughs> I'll just leave a shell for somebody else here. No big deal. Oh, super pretty. Another really cool coloring. It's like a caramel. It's got some zigzags and stripes. Lovely fighting conch and a little horse conch oh it's even got this little white tip on that it's the little tiny ones they kind of look like candy corn they're like orange with that little white on top very nice <sighs> yeah do i really need to say anything here beautiful gorgeous orange fighting conch all right what do we got here <gasps> oh it's just a tail so Let's see, and then I pull that up and, ah, oh, drat. Oh, I'm so sorry, because it's alive. So, all right, I already totally disturbed it. Let's go ahead and dig it up and take a look. So here we have, we have a lightning whelk, and wow, the animal retracted so fast. And that little, has a little disc there that is its operculum, but I feel bad. I'm gonna go ahead and tuck it back in a little bit. Sorry, buddy. Yeah, no harm, no foul. Yep, we'll just keep looking for more seashells. <gasps> prickly cockle. Lovely prickly cockle. Gorgeous on the inside, prickly on the outside. A Florida prickly cockle. Another little horse conch. Well, there's lots of shells there, but I was going for the horse conch. Oh, that one's so pretty with the little bands on it. Awesome. What do we got here? Oh, we're finally just going to take a peek at what's here. Got so a little lightning whelk and a, a, the arcs. There's some scallops. So for you guys who'd like to do that, where's Waldo? Here you go. It's a little bit of the smaller stuff. Anything some chunky in there? A couple ponderous arcs. Some of the fighting conks. So it was a fantastic variety. It is so fun. All right, what did I see? Is it a lace murex? Why, yes, yes, I think it is. It's kind of got a, it's almost like a lavender color. So it's lovely lace murex. Yeah. Yeah, it does almost, right? A little, maybe? Yeah, either way, it's still pretty. Oh, got another alphabet cone. <laughs> yep, really neat. Now, sometimes these show the alphabets, they'll create a different pattern. It's called a banded cone. I do have one of those very, very, very rare. It was so rare, I didn't even know when I found it what it was. Really cool. Really cool worm snail. Really big. That's going to look awesome in my printer tray. I finally managed to get a hold of one. Yep, another project. It's probably going to take me a year to finish, but that's okay. Nope. Missed. All right, I'm hunting something. And believe it or not, like, so it, you, there's like a 99% chance you're going to get the shell. Yep. If you're just patient and it's big enough, it won't get buried and you'll be able to kind of find it. So yet another, and these are in such good shape. So not just finding all these alphabet cones, but they're really in great shape. Awesome. That's another cone. That is a Florida cone. Kind of cool. They look like ice cream. I don't know why they remind me of ice cream cones. And isn't that pretty? That is a juvenile fighting conch. So the shape is a little funny. The color is almost like monochrome. Beautiful, beautiful shell. And that's a tinted cantharus. Another nice looking. I, I those kind of turned on me. I did not care for those, and I don't know why. All of a sudden, I think they're kind of neat. Do I see another cone? I do. Wow. 
And so there's a lot more of that periostracum. I kind of mentioned earlier that black that's on the shell. Wow. Another awesome alphabet cone. And another awesome fighting conch. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, and this one's alive. So that is another living banded tulip. So anytime you see those, if you find a shell and it's not empty, basically, you're going to want to leave it at the beach. The critter is not done with it, so we're going to leave it here, preferably very close or in the water. Nice! So that is a calico scallop. I know that just because the little fins on the bottom are kind of like 90 degree angles. So that's a little calico scallop. Awesome. Yeah, that's pretty. Nice little cross on there. So that is just a kind of, like, kind of juvenile fighting cock. Very nice. Oh, yeah. Well, the tide pushed this in too. I would really hate to leave it here. So went ahead and grabbed that other. And this one is probably... Well, freshly dead, for lack of a better description, just because it has so much of that black on it. So, wow, guys, right? What a day. And again, I would just like to point out, I'm not the only one here. There's other people very interested in seashells here shelling. So everyone is having an amazing time. It was just a really great day. But we're not done yet. Because look, if there's a cones here, <laughs> And it's a cone kind of day, why not try to kind of grab them while the getting's good, right? So you have yet another, I saw a nice K on that. Ooh, a nice, another big fat lettered olive. Terrific, awesome shell. So at this point, I mean, like I've gotten so much great stuff. It's just like gravy. So can you imagine that this massive shark eye is like gravy? Crazy, right? So I did notice that this one did not get drilled. So I bet you the smart ones are the ones that actually managed to get a little bit bigger. Oh, wow. Oh, another one. So beautiful, the color. Oh, it's awesome. Eh, it's okay. The aperture is a little bit chipped. It's gorgeous. And then I just wanted to look at this because it was so unusual. So that is a shark eye. You can see that white color really different, right? It's kind of neat. Beautiful horse gong. Oh my gosh. Yep. <laughs> Another alphabet cone. So that was one of the ones I saw the, the shell and just grabbed it and figured out, oh, I'll show you once I pick it up. I'm not gonna be able to show you the shot of it rolling around. And then this one, we finally found one that was like a little bit beat up. I would still be happy with that on any other day and I'm still gonna keep it. Another alphabet cone what an alphabet cone day it's crazy so that's a base scallop got some really terrific color on that sometimes they're white and sometimes they have that really nice reddish color a base scallop oh yeah the zigzags on that fighting conch and then that vertical white line so it does look like the animal was perhaps injured and then it repaired itself so just really cool colors a couple of other really cool shells so the time has finally come. It's time to leave the island. It is 1116. I have found more alphabet cons than I ever thought possible in one day. And it was such a fun day. The other people on the tour were so fun. It was a beautiful day out. So I feel very blessed to live here. And I'll wander around picking up seashells. And it's at this point where I go, thank you. Thank you for choosing to come along with me and let you see what Key Waden had to deliver on this fine February day. So I did go out, this is relatively recent, let's just say the week of February 13th. So this was not too long ago, I was out there on Key Waden. In addition to all those shells, I did remove a little bit of garbage. I feel like every little bit helps. So those 12 ounces I picked up in total is a little bit over 25 pounds of garbage I picked up. And then here are just some of the fighting conchs. And believe me, there is a reason I'm doing this. And one day I will reveal why I'm picking up all those conchs. But for now, 
let's talk about the stuff I picked up today. Yep, I did pick up a couple of those finding conks that made it onto this board. Some of those buttercup leucines, the cockles, the Florida prickly cockles, the giant Atlantic cockles, a lot of those fantastic scallops. The spiny jewel box, I have lettered olives, those cantharis, the one auger, some of those Florida cones, and then the Florida horse conks. Oh, just great, great size. The moon snails, the colorful and the regular shark eyes, lace murex, apple murex. We have some of those calico clams, uh, mossy arc, turkey wings, lightning whelks, banded tulips, and the alphabet cones. That was so flipping fun to keep finding them one after the other. It was awesome. So thank you so very much for coming with me and Patreons. Thank you so, so much. Some of you have been with me for quite a long time now. Thank you. I, I really do appreciate you. And the new people that are coming along for the ride, welcome aboard. Next week, I'm just going to say that lightning does strike twice sometimes. It's super special find I get. I'm just going to leave it at that. And so you all have yourself a great week and I'll show you the surprise next Sunday.